Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy the content, asking for you to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, opt in for the notifications, and share. Thank you. Hi. Now, the question that I'm answering today is whether or not baptism is needed or is a Christ believer required to be baptized? And the answer is yes. In Matthew, the 28th chapter, around about the 19th verse, Matthew 28, 19th chapter, and Jesus is speaking. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to use an analogy. In today's world, when we purchase something, we buy something, whether it be property or a house or a car or anything, television, whatever it is that we purchase, we will normally, we have to sign something, especially when it's a big purchase. Let's do a house or a car. You sign something. You sign an agreement or you sign a contract that lets that person know or whoever that sees that information that you belong to me or that car belongs to me or that property belongs to me or that property belongs to you. With the same analogy of purchasing the car, in order to purchase the car, you had to pay, the car cost $50,000. And you can't go and write on the contract, I'm going to pay $5 and think you're going to get the car. You're not because the car is value or worth $50,000. Same thing is for us people. So what Christ did was he purchased us with our sins. Now, the reason why Christ purchased our sins is because he wanted us to be able to go to heaven. He wanted us to be able to be in heaven eternally. And the only way to do that would be to get rid of the sins because we can't go there. We couldn't go. We can't go to heaven without our, with our sins as they were. Now, remember I said that if a car is worth $50,000, you can't pay $500 and get the car. Well, we were people or our sins was the same way. The only way that Christ could purchase us and free our sins or purchase our sins with us, blood has to be sh shed in order to purchase us or purchase our sons. Baptism is like our IOU or our note or our covenant with God, with Christ, to let him know that we are believers and that we accept it. We are accepting of his purchase. Christ died for us, okay? But he does, he does not push himself on us. So we have the option of accepting him or not. And we show him that we accept him by baptism. Years ago, they did circumcision as a way to let Jesus or let God know that they were with him. Well, now the contract has changed a little bit and we now use baptism to show Christ that we are a part and we believe in what he has done. Although Christ died for us, 
He does not force himself on us. So what he does is he teaches us or allow his people to teach us about himself. And then we have the opportunity or we have the op the option or the choice to accept him. And we accept him by being baptized. That baptism shows our contract or shows our covenant with him and our, our agreement that we do accept him and that we do want him in our lives. That's what baptism does. So as I close, baptism is an oath. It's that agreement or that covenant that lets Jesus know that we've accepted him and we accepted that he died he was crucified, he died, he was buried, and he rose again, and he lives in us. And we accept him by being baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, opt in for the notifications, and share. Thank you. Take care.